What do you think about doing the rock test? Yeah. We heard the way to tell if a lake is skatable is to do the rock test. So you're supposed to find a rock the size of two fists and toss it up in the air and if it falls through, it's not ready. Slightly bigger than two fists. Okay, what do you think? Is it gonna fall through? It's gonna go right through. Yeah, I think so too. No questions but asked. Let's try it. Yeah. Ready? Ready. Oh wow, it's a lot more shallow than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the rock right there? Yeah. Oh wow. It's, <laughs> it's really shallow. All right, I failed the rock test. It's not ready for skating, but that's okay. We can come back. This is the best time of the year. It's so warm and there's snow. You wanna keep going? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Hi, I'm Krista and this is Brian. In 2020, we bought an empty Ford Transit cargo van and then took 10 months to convert it ourselves. In August 2021, we moved into the van full-time with a dream to travel the world and spend as much time in the mountains as possible. Our travels start here in northern Canada. To follow along on our adventures, you can subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss an episode. As we were driving away from the sheep viewing area, we noticed this animal was following us. At first we weren't sure if it was a wolf or a coyote, but upon further research we realized that this is a coyote. And unfortunately, it's exhibiting behaviors that it's been fed by humans before. It was really curious of us, coming closer and licking its lips. We decided to keep driving along the beautiful highway and find a spot to stay for the night. We weren't sure if we were going to hike because there was so much snow along the way, but we were loving the drive. Man, I feel alive. We even had someone come down and cheer for us. <laughs> <laughs> Kept your toque on, eh? Good job, eh? Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> so just cracked our windshield. I was trying to warm it up slowly to avoid a crack, and then I flipped on the windshield wiper to move a chunk of snow, and as soon as the snow was gone, the window cracked. What mistakes have we made so far with van life? Overflowing the grey water. Yeah, we've done that three times. Or o four. Overflowing the shower. The shower, yeah. We haven't done that in a while, thankfully. Running the water pump without having our air release valve open. Yeah, and suctioning it closed. <laughs> it got so <laughs> suctioned. Um, overflowing the urine. Overflowing the urine. 
messing up the toilet medium twice, heating up the windshield too fast and cracking it. Mm -hmm. Spilling the coffee. Twice. Twice and staining our wall brown. Hot stuff on the countertop. Oh yeah, that was a full Brian mistake that one was. You don't have to put names to these <laughs> mistakes. The point is we've made lots of mistakes. And we're still here. Just like anyone would when they start out van life. And we're still loving it. There's an icicle on the wall of the van. <laughs> oh. <laughs> when we told people we're staying at the end of October and they looked at us funny, I think they realized <laughs> that we didn't know how snowy it was gonna be. <laughs> We had plans to try to do a hike today, but it is too snowy and we decided just to do a road trip instead. So we're on a wildlife searching safari. We already saw a wolf and we saw a big, what was that, a it's hawk? A, it's, I think it's the golden hawk. It was beautiful. Didn't capture that on camera though. A bunch of elk on our way out this way. So we're hoping to see those beautiful creatures. There are things that you can't really relax on with van life. Like you have to make sure you fill up your water and you have to make sure you empty your toilet. But everything, other time when we can, we're just trying to get some relaxation time in. So I'm actually not upset that we didn't hike today. Are you? Not feeling great. Yeah. We're exploring. It'd be good to do a little bit of a workout maybe when we get back to Whitehorse. But for now, we're just hanging out, listening to a podcast. How are you feeling after doing some relaxing, babe? I felt happy you were relaxing. That's great. Now we'll come into this work week rejuvenated, ready to go. Yeah, like I'm actually really excited to get back to work. Yeah, that's a good feeling. <laughs> okay, hopefully we see more animals. We're starting to leave the snowier area. We must have been up at a higher elevation. What's going on? Well, we just made it back to Whitehorse. We popped into the grocery store to grab a couple things. Brian's anxiety got bad because we got to the city. So I'm going to drive us to a non-city area so we can continue to relax for the evening. Brian asked me to take charge of our everything for the evening. So I knew our water was empty and I found an RV place that's open still and we could fill up our water which is awesome that is going to be the hardest part about staying here in the Yukon for the next couple weeks is that all of the taps are getting shut down because it's so cold at night doing some van chores so we got filled up which is great so we're good for another few days and they've got a laundromat here and showers so that'll be really nice time to turn this from driving mode to hangout mode <laughs> hello Tonight I'm cooking dinner and I'm going to try making a one pot pasta. It's really helpful in the van to make meals with less dishes because we have a quite a small water tank and it takes a lot of water to wash dishes. So I've never done this recipe before. I'm going to make it up as I go, follow a recipe a little bit. The plan is one pot. 
reboot. I'm cold, my service automated. Like data running through my veins. Got you distracted, subconscious overloaded. Careful, don't pull the cord off. After a great meal and a nice sleep, my anxiety decreased and I was able to continue on with the work week. Thank you all so much for watching our adventure and we'll see you next week at the next one. See Bye! Ya. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss our episode coming out next week where we meet up with our friends who also have a van. We got up to some really fun adventures.